Corvette owners across the country are familiar with the name of Mike Yeager, not only because of the company he started, Mid-America Design, but because of his extensive and ever-changing collection. As a 12-year-old boy, I fell in love with my first Corvette on a bright sunny May day coming home from St. Louis and I can still shut my eyes and see that car today. When I think of the, the favorite cars in my collection, it would be the last C4, which is the last 1996 Corvette made before they changed to the new 97 uh, body style and a 1954 Corvette that really started the whole collection. It's a 54 pennant blue Corvette with, uh, when we bought it, it had less than 3,000 miles on it. And my sons and I drove it at the uh, Corvette show at Bloomington, Illinois on a 40 mile road trip. So for the first time in probably 20 years, we put 40 miles in the car. The last C4, we had every factory worker, every management personnel that was at the plant that day sign the car. And during the production of the car, there was over 1,500 people that signed it. That's a 68 uh, 427, 435 horse Corvette. Uh, has the L89 option, which is an aluminum headed 427. The car actually has 5,100 miles on it. Still has the original window sticker on the window. Every car in my collection is bought for a reason. Uh, the predominant car is low mileage original and then some unique feature. Well, the unique feature on this car is that uh, my brother that's a year older than me bought a car the same color as that when he returned home from Vietnam. So this kind of has some family memories and some other uh, spatial values other than the fact that it's an original, you know, really super nice piece of equipment. Behind me is a 1988 35th anniversary Corvette with the B2K twin turbo Callaway option. Uh, the option of B2K was the first time and really the last that uh, turbocharging was factory available on a Corvette. The first car that we looked at today was a 1968 L88 Corvette. It was the last Corvette to finish the race at Le Mans until Reeves Calloway did it in uh, 1997. The car still holds a record at the 24 hour of Daytona as being the, the fastest and highest finishing Corvette ever in its class. It finished third. Uh, another car in that collection is a 1962 Corvette that raced at Sebring, also at Daytona. It was one of the factory cars. It won the Southeast Regional Championship. We also have Serve One, which is Chevrolet Engineering Research Vehicle One which was a design engineering car built in the late 50s to the 1959 IndyCar specs. And unique things about it, it had bias braking that the driver could operate, whether it be icy conditions, water conditions, changed the braking bias front to the rear back in 1959. Volkswagen joined uh, Mid-America's family a year ago. We like to go back into the history of any of the vehicles that we sell and get vehicles from their past history. Also, when customers come to the real source to look at Volkswagens, we have the history of VW right here at the very beginning. Behind me is a 1943 Schwimmen wagon, which was used by the Waffen SS in World War II probably one of the more versatile military vehicles and that it could swim and also go in four-wheel drive. This 1949 VW is actually built by the Hebmuller company, uh, used by the military. This is one of only four vehicles believed to be in existence, probably the only one in the United States, uh, a 49 police car. Well, to me, Corvette was and is Red, white, and blue, it's U.S., it's macho, uh, it's America, it's freedom, it's fast, it's horsepower. When I look around our whole corporate facilities and look at the people, the buildings, the cars, I have to say that I'm the luckiest person in the world. So why wouldn't the luckiest person in the world want to share what they have with friends and neighbors and, and customers? Each year, Mike and Mid-America Design hosts the Corvette show which attracts thousands of people from across the country. 
It's three days of food, music, and car admiration. And to reach Mid-America Design, call 217-347-5591 or visit their website shown on the screen.